Finally hear from James Comey in his first interview since President Trump fired him as director of the FBI. Good morning, Tampa Bay. I'm James Tully. And I'm Dee O'Reilly. It was a lengthy interview. He certainly didn't hold back discussing everything, including his thoughts on whether President Trump is fit for the White House. ABC Action News anchor Lauren St. Germain joins us now. Lauren, the president uh, has been responding on Twitter. You have his latest tweets. Yeah, that's right. He had been actually silent pretty much all morning, but within the past hour, he did start tweeting, and this was the first one right here. He said Comey drafted the crooked Hillary exoneration long before he talked to her, then based his decisions on her poll numbers disgruntled he McCabe and the others committed many crimes. So in this ABC News exclusive interview, George Stephanopoulos asked if Comey thinks the Russians have something on Donald Trump. Comey said, quote, I think it's possible. I don't know when those are words I never thought I would say about a president. George also asked Comey if he thought Donald Trump was unfit to be president. Listen to his response. Yes. But not in the way I often hear people talk about it. I don't buy the stuff about him being mentally incompetent or early stages of dementia. He strikes me as a person of above average intelligence who's tracking conversations and knows what's going on. I don't think he's medically unfit to be president. I think he's morally unfit to be president. Our president must embody respect and adhere to the values that are at the core of this country, the most important being truth. This president is not able to do that. He is morally unfit to be president. And we're also starting to hear from the Republican Party. The RNC chairwoman tweeted something you see right here, basically saying that Comey has no credibility and that the president was right to fire him. Comey's book does come out tomorrow, and Comey tweeted this on Sunday, saying that three presidents are in his book, two help illustrate the values at the heart of ethical leadership, and one serves as a counterpoint. And as a programming note, Comey will be on Good Morning America tomorrow morning, so I'm sure he'll have a lot more to say, and we'll be following that, of course, and keep you updated. Dia, back to you. All right.